everyone, welcome back to my channel. The other day I was scrolling on Pinterest and I saw a photo of this makeup look and it was very very simple with a bright red lip and I read the caption. It was a link to an article about how French girls do makeup differently and the picture, it was just beautiful. So it got me scrolling through Pinterest even more looking at French girl or Parisian style makeup and oh my goodness it was so pretty and I thought to myself I just have to try it. So here's the picture that I first saw, I'll pop it up right here, and I thought I would try to recreate my own version of that using drugstore products. So I already have my eyes primed. I use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and my Milani Primer. And I lost my eyebrow pencil, so I just used a brown eyeshadow to try to fill them in just a little bit. And upon inspection, they don't match. So let me fix them real quick. Well, I think I just made them worse, so just ignore, just ignore that. First, what I'm going to do is start off, I'm going to use the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Primer. I just really, really love the glow that this gives, and I like to warm it up in between my fingers, and I like to press it into my skin to make sure that glowy goodness doesn't get all rubbed and blended into my skin. I let that sit on my skin for about 30 seconds after I patted it all in and I'm going to go in with foundation. This is my Revlon Candid Foundation and I'm going to actually put about a pump to start directly on my sponge and I'm just going to blend this one pump all over my face. So I want to keep the coverage pretty light and if I feel like I need a little bit more then I'll go in with more. Okay, so I definitely think I need like a half a pump more because I need to get some on my forehead and just a little bit down my neck. Okay, so I put a little bit extra on my forehead and right on my inner cheek area just to cover up the redness. But it's still pretty light enough to where you can see my skin, like my freckles and a little bit, little bit of my scarring and stuff, which is what I want. I want to look as natural and fresh faced as possible and I'm really taking my time to press the foundation into my skin, making sure it looks as seamless as possible. I think I'm happy with where that's at. Now I'm going to do concealer. I'm going to use the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline and I'm actually going to use the shade Ivory and the brightening shade together. So since my little caps popped off on this one, I just have to squirt some out. And I dab some under my eyes, really taking my time to blend this out. Then I'm just going to dab a little bit of the shade 100 Ivory right over top and blend this out. This helps to get rid of, I don't put a lot on, just enough to get rid of the more pinky undertone that the brightener gives my under eyes. I'm taking the flat edge of the sponge and kind of going over the edge to defuse everything. And I don't really have any blemishes right now to cover up, so yay for that. Knock on wood. I'm putting on a moisturizing tinted lipstick. This one's by the brand Opera. Um, I used it in my full face of Japanese makeup. I will link that down below. It has the link to this lipstick in it. but. I plan on doing a red lipstick, so I thought I would just put on a more red tinted balmy type texture on. I am going to go into highlight. This is the ColourPop highlight in here, Kitty Kitty. It's just a plain powder highlight. And I'm going to take a more flatter domed brush and I'm going to swirl it in there. And I'm going to buff it in little circles on the high points. I'm using a bigger brush because I want it to be really diffused and soft, but I still want to look like I'm glowy. And this helps to achieve that. Plus I've been really into using more bigger brushes for my highlight because I feel like it just spreads the product out in a really lovely way. I'm just going to take some of my finger and pop it right below my brow bone. Just a hint of it. Okay, now I'm going to go into a blush. This is a cream blush. These are the ColourPop blush sticks, but I find that they go beautifully on top of powder, so that's why I went ahead and put on that powder highlight first. 
So I'm just going to swipe some on to my sponge. I'm going to smile and apply it kind of higher up on my cheekbone. And once I have less product, then I'll bring it down on the apple on my cheek. Kind of like an in-between of what I would do with bronzer and blush. Oh, I'm using the shade Aloha. It's a nice, neutral, peachy blush. It just adds that really beautiful flush, but also doubles as adding some dimension underneath my cheekbones. See, can you tell the difference between the sides? It's just really lovely, and I love it. I, ooh, actually, I think I love that. I don't know. <gasps> Am I going to go through a phase of not using bronzer? I might. I'm going to add some more to my sponge and do the same thing on the other side. I didn't add any bronzer today because from what I've gathered and all the pictures that I've seen and I read some articles, the key to like Parisian or French girl makeup is not to be sculpted but to look natural and naturally radiant and beautiful. So no sculpting today with contour or bronzer. I'm going to take whatever is left on my uh, sponge and just kind of tap that on my nose and on my chin. And the rest of it I'm going to put into my hairline. Now I am going to add a little something to my eyes. I am going to go into my Milani Silky Matte Bronzer. This is the shade Sunlight 01. And I'm going to take this big Farrah 35E brush and kind of swirl it in. And then I'm just messily placing this in my crease. And I'm buffing in little circles to make it really diffused. I'm really taking my time buffing out this very small amount of product because I don't want people to look at me and be like, oh, I love that little hint of bronzer on your eyes. It really adds depth to your eye. I just want people to say, oh, you look so glowy and natural. Okay, I'm going to take what's left on the brush and kind of sweep it and pat it on my lid. I am going to take an eyeliner. This is Overboard by ColourPop. It's a cream gel liner. And I'm just going to smudge this on the outer third of the lash line and taper it closer in um, about halfway through. And then I'm going to pat this in with my finger to diffuse it. I just want to make it look like my lash line is a little thicker. And I'm actually going to put just the tiniest bit right here and tap that in. So, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little area right in here that has no eyeliner on it at all. So that just helps create a more fuller lash line in the outer corner and inner corner. And hopefully, you can tell it helped my eyes be a little bit more doe-eyed looking, a little bit bigger. Maybe. I'm going to pop some mascara on very lightly and I'll be right back. Alright, I am back. I used my CoverGirl Super Sizer Fibers Mascara in the shade Black, and I only put about one coat on. Maybe one and a half. I didn't build it up a whole lot because I wanted to look a little bit more natural, but I did want my eyelashes to find since I don't really have any. Now I'm going to go into some brow gel. I'm using the e.l.f. Wow Brow in the shade Neutral Brown. Since I want my brows to look super feathery and full, I'm going to wait for this coat to dry and then I'm going to add another coat. I find that doubling up with this brow gel is very easy and it works really good, at least on my eyebrows. Um, it doesn't get clumpy whatsoever, it's just really nice since it's a little bit more of a drier formula. I'm just adding a, another coat of brow gel very lightly just to make them even more feathery and fluffy. Now I'm going to spray my face with my L'Oreal Shake and Glow Dew Mist. This is the perfect dewy setting spray. And the sprayer is so good. When that's a little bit more dried down, I'm just pressing it into my skin to lock everything down even further. And now I'm going to go into lip color. I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon, and this is in the shade Hustle and Heels. You can totally leave it at this or just put a balm on or a very nice, like, more nude colored lip. I've seen pictures of that too, but I just really like the red with the more natural look. It's just so pretty to me. Got 
got that all applied, I overdrew just slightly in the very centers of my lips on the top and bottom. And kind of straightened out the cupid's bow to give my lips a more youthful appearance. Okay, so this is the finished look. I feel so pretty, oddly, having this like little effort and just just a few products gave me this feeling i feel so pretty chic i don't know if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up as always thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time i upload and i will see you in my next video bye Mwah. i'm actually going to do complexion first i'm going to use the physician's formula organic wear primer I love that little hint. Stop shaking. But I didn't build it up super, super much. Super, super much. Okay, I have one coat of brow gel on, and since I want my brows to look super fluttery, I'm going to use the Maybelline, 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 and kind of straightened out the cupid's bowl. Straightened out. And